Now, of course, I was waiting for how inevitably the uh, Montgomery, Alabama thing would uh, go horribly wrong. And it would make black people not, of course, self-efface and say, boy, this is like how you constantly, every day, catch multiple captures of footage of black people assaulting police, security guards, um, uh, verbally assaulting or fi- and or physically assaulting people who work someplace because they, they're just mad about something. Um, or the many stories about just some black person assaulting somebody, throwing them on the tracks of a train, uh, robbing, killing, and beating. And it's, it, this is, I knew this, uh, I should have just counted on this, but I did. I, I, yeah, you, come on. Yeah, I did. I knew that would go wrong. And, um, so there's something that I, I, that Aaron Cleary was talking about how sanity is going to be the, the wealth of the future. Just literally being able to function in society and find ways of making yourself happy easily. And I know there's going to be people who are who are young enough that you're going to be young men like, um, like, do you mean like easily? Because that'd be like taking a walk. I like taking walks. Yes, yes. The idea that you would go outside and take a walk because it would make you feel better. You, that's going to make you like double sane and triple smart. The fact that you know to do that. Um, being able to just sort of look things up and problem solve. This is going to be something that more and more you're going to find like, wait, all I did was just do this basic thing that was just problem solving. You're going to be the ultra genius of the universe from that. Um <coughs> The whole Montgomery, Alabama thing was the fact that it was more of the unity of a small, uh, a small city, large town getting together to defend somebody who was assaulted at work. And um, the, the and it, this was extremely rare. White people assaulting black people is extraordinarily rare. It does not ever matter how delusional black Americans are that they think that somewhere there are white people beating them up all the time. And said, oh, the police. And said, well, no, that, that's because black people break the law so much. To the point that, that places that are majority black, you have a really hard time putting closed circuit television cameras up why because they be racist because they be catching black people doing things this, and so now i want to just touch on something that th- this is a really weird thing that there's cognitive and developmental science that backs this in multiple times over this isn't conjecture in any way shape or form we know why single parenthood is bad. It lowers your intelligence. We know that. We know that your elastic intelligence is typically going to be affected negatively by you being with a single parent, especially a mother. If you're left with your biological mother and not your biological father, you develop worse than if you're with your biological father alone. This is all known. This is not even. This is not any longer something that is theory. We have enough information on this that this is something that it's, it can only be kind of worse than this. That, we're, that we actually sort of can almost bet that the more you're exposed to sort of like this idea of high female reasoning, the more likely it is that your high reasoning is very poor. Um, and it's because that's not the realm of, of women's specialization in, in evolution intelligence. 
that's why we keep insisting on them being in, in, in fields that they don't gravitate toward. We have to push them into those fields, and then when we do so, and we make a big thing of it, it ends up where it, they don't perform to the level that, I mean, like standard, a, st a group of men who are not extraordinary in that field do, are able to do, such as engineering. And quite a bit of research, actually. There's quite, that's been one, the, the idea that we have to gas up women's poor scientific research and it's just simply like what do they research on average and they research things that are, are kind of crap and, and so you end up finding out like well no there's these, just these fields that we pretend like there's this brilliant work going on and there's not but w what this is is that we're not getting the, the, this ramification if what we know is that one of the key things that happens with single parenthood households is that it lowers inhibitions. Once you, do, it, the ability to actually inhibit your appetites is an active G function. It, it's an active function of the mind. It's not that you're bred to not drink. It's not that you're bred to not smoke. You actually overcome this. This is why Christianity is so fascinating in, like, both Buddhism and Christianity have this kind of fascinating quality. Islam does too, but those are two that I could, I just know more about. Um, and is that the idea that they, they're, that their entire concept has this idea of, uh, of the kind of equality of the soul in their religion so that your mind choosing not to get intoxicated is something that any, the idea is anyone can do it. So like say in Buddhism, the Dharma, there's only a, a very small number of things that can't learn the Dharma that are sentient. Um, one, according to Tibetans, are Muslims generally, but <laughs> that's a totally different issue. Um, the, but there's this, the, fundamentally, this idea that, that only, like, sort of these kind of a category, like Bodhidharma puts it as, like, a category of sort of stone demon, or, like, some kind of, like, the, those demons of statuary, um, it, like, they can't learn the Dharma, that kind of thing. And so that would be the only thing that, like, kind of by its nature, categorically can't make good choices or wise choices. It, that, that would be the idea. It's, it, and, and so the thing, this is obviously an illusion when you get into Chinese culture or the, that region, the, the hungry ghost. You know, that hungry ghosts cannot learn the Dharma. But even in Mahayana Buddhism, I believe that's, that, that's not considered, believe that's considered um, a wrong view. Uh, that, that, it's, that even hungry ghosts can, can change. But I'm not sure if that's true. I, that, I, that's probably differing on school, actually. I bet that d betting, betting on Buddhist school of thought, it would, it would change. At one, in one school, you have to erase their karma. You have to erase their negative karma and the other the, the, and then others that would be like no they've already made their choices you know and and yeah so um and then probably ones that are really esoteric that you have you know almost like exorcists you know but anyway so <laughs> the uh the prevalence of black americans who then have like these so you have these women who at their, in their young years, even though they're, these are women with college educations, and they're like, yeah, and I still have a single, and I'm a single mom. And that it's kind of like this thing, like, what? Like, how's that work? And, you know, it, like, how did you, how did you manage both of those, you know? Um, or like, you know, like relatively well-employed single mother, you know, that, that has gotten some kind of office job or something, and that you know, kind of, like, she wants a man who makes this and could take care of her kids, yada, yada. This is obviously somebody that they did not inhibit. They, they did not, they did not inhibit their behavior. 
you're not seeing single motherhood plague the Chinese community. Poverty did plague the Chinese community even as I was growing up. Chinese people were not rich. In San Francisco, California, Chinese people were not rich when I was growing up. They, they just knew how to save their money and borrow effectively. And they, they, the families help each other. They really help each other. Not, I'm in my family, I know. They really help each other. And they, 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 yeah. And they start businesses together. They hold out on it. They, they make their money. And, uh, and cause it's, it's a, a thousand years of tradition as opposed to black Americans who do not have that. And, and there's a lot that a lot of black Americans just have to start facing. And I saw this thing with Candace Owens that, you know, that I was talking about where this young black man is asking her about stuff. And it's like, no, I don't think you really get this. Black Americans have fucked up. This single mom thing with black Americans and this fixation on it being some kind of ideal way and not fallen. It is a fallen way. Single motherhood in black America is lesser. It's inferior. It's an inferior way of raising your children. And people who won't accept that don't matter anymore. They, it doesn't, they don't matter. They're not going to improve the quote unquote community. They can't. They are not, they are not rational people. They, that's, that's the key thing. And so they have to now have this idea that there's categories of people that, that just be things. Them things and them people be like, you know what I'm saying. And, and that's, what, that's what it comes down to. This, this unbelievably ignorant jigaboo kind of series of words. They're trying to say that white people are inherently superior and that they're always victimizing us poor imbecilic black people who are just trying to be a bee you know and rather than it's we make bad decisions because of a, 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 christianity is hard <laughs> That's really i mean like christian norms are hard it's easier to make bad decisions and, um, and, and, but nobody wants to accept that. No, nobody wants to deal with that. Um, it's because it's it, the, every group of people who are starting to become inferior are glomming around, constantly praising women, letting them off the hook for them dropping over half the sky and the earth and the sea. And, uh, and, and also that they, they have to ascribe the group kind of attribute error. And the key group attribute error is this idea of in the, the whites are inherently racist and can barely control them. I heard this from Destiny um, last night that the border wall was uh, inherently racist. Now, the border wall is something that we've built in five countries. Five. We have given money to like five countries for their border walls. Um, what it is is that it's nationalist and it's also, it was already law. Um, it wasn't a new law. Trump just didn't do it. He, he actually did it well, which is another thing that, that, that says a lot, speaks volumes about somebody like Destiny. That it's like, well... The law was already there. That law was agreed upon actually by the leadership of the Democratic Party as it stands right now. And it's just because Trump did it correctly that you all are angry because you look, you envy his competence. That's what it really looks like to anyone who's rational and self effacing. And more and more that kind of thing is coming up. If you're rational and self-effacing, you'll look like a dick. And, and so it, 
you're envious of the competence of wealthy white people. It's, you know, you dick, you know, why don't you get over it? <laughs> and, um, <laughs> get over it. There's not that many of them get wealthy. You know, it's it do do what it takes for you to be happy. Um, one of the things about people like me and others that we're spiritual or we're into uh, religion is that we understand that when you when you really know something about theology properly, you actually know how to make yourself happy. Even when things are bad, you can make yourself feel happy, and it's because there's something you feel beyond yourself. And, and you don't need to go any farther than that into thinking of all kinds of weird ideas and kooky images and picturing things. And No, it's just you could be thankful that you have today and that you're happy now. And that builds, it becomes a practice, it becomes a thing that makes your brain work correctly and better. In, superiorly <laughs> and uh, <coughs> now something that uh, yeah so so I started to see like no there's this this there's this similarity now of these and it really is that it's 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 simp culture it's simp cult there's there's you know women culture and there's simp cult and like women culture you know they like ABBA who knows why you know, who knows what that's about and other weird music that's super irritating, like, you know, I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world, it's some, some thing that, you know, like, and other music like that, you know, that, that you're just like, wow, this is, you know, super retard, you know, and, um, but then there's simp cult, and simp cult's like, well, you, you, you we're always going to find a way that the women are right the men are wrong in thinking anything other than the women are right and try to figure out some way that we're going to work the uh, casting aspersions form of uh, you're at fault it's you you see you actually don't get enough poontang it's you you're 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 uh, you were taught some kind of a weird way of thinking by your household. It's not that you had both parents in your household and that there that you were raised in a way that you're actually the mentally healthy one. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, that's not that can't be. Um it, <laughs> you you have to understand how, you know, some some person who is living a life that is is all sorts of not normal is actually has this view of things you see because they're looking at it from the outside that's there we go there's one of the the ones that i've been thinking about this idea of looking at it from the outside we get this from a lot of like my i associate it with the peanuts to some degree but I, that's not i because I, I associate it with my dad and his generation but like they kind of not that there's the social anti-hero who he's on the outside of things um He's kind of struggling with something about his life that is imperfect, is, is not, yeah, maybe he's the poor kid um, in the story, or he's, that's a very common one in 80s movies. He's the poor kid in town, and he gets the rich girl, or he's trying to impress the rich girl. Um, but usually the poor kid, it's typically he's with the single mom, or he has a single mom, and and uh, and people tease him because he's like odd, and there's like the jock who's like always messing with him, and so this paradigm is for some reason like never dying among a lot of people. That there's these these wealthy white jocks always picking on everyone in their fantasy world, which I do believe is built from television, and it's not built from like looking at the internet and and seeing people committing crime. Like seeing the, the the people recording, here are here's what youth crime really is. Now, the the glory of this is, I started to really have to embrace Aaron Clary's thinking about this. Let them drown. Let them drown. It's it only the it's only getting worse, in the sense of 
if the idea is that black Americans think that they could, they're going to be vindicated by the truth, it's going to be this thing of like, oh, good luck with that. <laughs> good fucking luck. Because, it, it, no, we're, it, it, let them drown. It, nobody's, nobody's becoming police in any of these major cities. Even in blue enclaves, they, they, it's, it's, it's they're nothing. They're getting nothing as far as new people. Nobody wants to deal with it. Nobody wants to be someplace that, like, literally all the white women will, will, will get a nonprofit to sue you into oblivion if you do your job. Things like that. No, nobody wants to deal with that. And, and so the beauty of this is I'm, like, sitting back and I'm like, no, that, that really is how this is going to go down. Gen X women are, and millennial women are either going to stay in their blue enclaves and drown or they're going to have to move to places that are overtly ultra red. That's the beauty of it. I started to like kind of think of like, well, by the end of, by the end of the match, what, 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 what kind of score do I think I'll see? And then it's like, yeah, there's going to be places. And I'm like really starting to see this like Eastern Oregon guys, like cowboy hat, like, like, good, well-dressed Hispanic guys who you could tell that area is probably very safe. <laughs> Those guys, he's not walking around with a pinky ring on if he thinks it's going to get taken. He's not stupid. He's not a stupid guy. You know, so it's like, I'm like, no, no, these ladies are going to move to where it's safe or not. <laughs> and, uh, and that, that'll, that'll decide everything, you know? You know, everyone's going to choose their way of life because they'll be in that neighborhood. And that'll be the future.